Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel Miss Reem Healings, my name is Reem. Welcome into your Sunday message uh, for the week ahead. We're going to take a look at what do we need to focus on for soul growth, for soul expansion, where do we need to put our energy into for the week ahead. So I've gone ahead and I've written down all of the pages that the mandalas are on. We're going to pick a page and get a mandala message for the week ahead. So we'll do that in just a little bit. Um, and then we'll get into the Muse Tarot and quite possibly the Fairy Oracle that I just got, honestly. Just beautiful meanings, beautiful imagery, very different messages. And I feel like we need to incorporate and use different magical elements right now that the world that these spiritual realms offer us. So I feel this need to encompass and bring in all of the magical elements. So I'm doing a lot of studying right now. Um, so I'm going to study the fairy book and I'm also going to study a new deck that I just got. And this one I haven't connected to yet, but it's really interesting. I was really drawn to order this and it's called the Wildwood Tarot. And I was really drawn to the word wild and I really wanted to purchase this deck. I heard some really good things. Not a lot of people use it and they do also have a lot of different meanings. Um, the tarot is not traditional and I like that. Um, and then when I purchased it, when I purchased it, I, don't, I didn't know what the deck looked like, but look at this. Doesn't that look like the two trees from one root reading that we did last Sunday? The mandala was two trees with one root, and it's very similar. If I find it here, I can show you guys. If you if you were unable to look at that uh, video yet, go check it out. <laughs> so this is the two trees from one root. Look at that. You see that? Amazing, right? I just thought that was a really beautiful synchronicity. And then in the deck itself, there's a card that's called the mirror. And um, so I'm not exactly ready to connect to these cards just yet, but I was meant to buy it. Um, so I'm just going to put these to the side for now. And I will get into it when I study it a little bit more. Okay, so let's get into our mandala source book here. Let's pick a page. Thank you, guardian angels, for your guidance. What message do you have for us? What mandala? My right ear is ringing. My left ear just closed and my right ear is ringing. <laughs> Hello, guardian angels, archangels. Such a beautiful tone. I love when that happens. <laughs> it's such a beautiful music, tone, frequency. Okay, got it. All right. Let's see what page we're going to. So we are going to page 417. 417. Okay. Thank you. 417. Here we go. So we have eyes of the peacock. All right, so I'm gonna show you the mandala. Eyes of the peacock, the cosmos has an intrinsic radiance that is not always apparent. We can be distracted from beauty and wonder by our everyday preoccupations. The peacock is an image of revelation used in this mandala to open the eyelid of awareness. So we start by looking at the outer circle of the mandala, symbol of eternity and spirit. Along the circumference are iridescent eye motives of a peacock trail. Could these have some connection in their beauty with the eternal? 
So this is where we are looking at here. Contemplate each conce concentric band of the mandala in turn. Dwell on the miracle of color and pattern and the vision that allows us to perceive it so vividly. Now gaze at the triangle within the mandala, a symbol of both harmony and, in alchemy, fire. Feather and fire coexist in a harmonious universe. Again, there's that word about harmony, unity, and oneness. There's a really big emphasis here on beauty. Seeing new, new beauty, seeing the colors. How do we see color so vividly? The cosmoke, the cosmoke? I don't know why I said the cosmoke. <laughs> Mercury retrograde. The cosmos is really radiant and it's not always apparent. That first sentence just really took my attention because it's not apparent. The cosmos is not apparent, but it is always there and it's radiant. It's filled with color, even energies. When you become really sensitive to energies, when you vibrate at a certain frequency and your awareness, right? Because we're talking about awareness here. When you have a clear vision and you open your awareness like the eyes of the peacock, you can see more color clearly. There are people that can see people's auras. There are individuals that can see energy. And it's that part of the cosmos that we don't see that is not always apparent, but it can be apparent to us. Lastly, dwell on the peacock itself. Life is beautifully, pricelessly evanescent like the flash of a peacock's tail. Its perfection may be hidden, but the enlightened soul will see this glory, a wonderful gift from the One. just want to show you the mandala again. A beautiful message, a very beautiful message. Its perfection may be hidden is also something that, that's really standing out to me. But the enlightened soul will see the glory. It's like we get so busy from our everyday preoccupations just like what this mandala is saying. We get so busy from so many different things, work, family, friendship, career. We get busy with our own minds, our thoughts. We get taken off track or so we think we get taken off track. It's like we don't get to notice how perfect we are. We are perfectly imperfect. But as you get enlightened, the enlightened soul can see the glory of everything, the beauty, the imagery, the colors that are so vivid, not only in the cosmos, but also within us. And I think that's a really beautiful message. And the category here is animal life, which is um, really standing out to me because... We may miss the beauty of animals. We may not see how beautiful they are or how connected we are to animals. There's also a quote here I'm going to read to you by Bengali hymn. Dive deep, O mind, in the ocean of God's beauty. If you descend to the utmost depths, there you will find the gem of love. That's so beautiful. Okay. Okay. I'm going to, can you guys see that? Hope so. Okay. 
Okay, let's see what other messages we can get this week with the tarot. This is the Muse tarot. I feel exceptionally slow, like more calm than I usually feel. Um, I don't know why. I feel like I'm moving like a sloth. Even my mind feels really slow. It feels like time is slowing down. I don't know why. I don't know if anyone else is feeling like that. As if time has slowed. Are we moving that quickly? Are we ascending that fast? Are we transforming that rapidly? That our outer environments seem like they're slowing? Is that when we appreciate the colors of the world? Maybe our own color, the colors of others, their beautiful auras, their energies. It's true when they say when you slow down, you appreciate more things, right? That's why meditation is so important. That's why these mandala messages are so important. There's so many things that we do in our day-to-day -day life that take us away from appreciating who we are and appreciating others in our life. There's so much things going on in the media that slowing down and appreciating beauty and going within and opening our awareness. We see different colors. We see the color of life. We see the color of energy. We go to the depths and we see love what the one has created, what God has created, what the divine has created, what the universe has created, whoever it is that you believe in. We're all connected to the one, to one. We're all connected. Okay, so let's see what other messages we have here. What do we need to know? This is the Muse Tarot. Whoa, two of cups, two of emotions. This is beautiful. This is be I didn't expect this. Why, why, why are we taking this direction now? Maybe there's more of an appreciation of seeing someone or someone seeing you, seeing your color, seeing your emotional language, recognizing your body language, recognizing your colors within yourself, recognizing the color of the ocean. There's so much vivid energy that is coming through through this message of the mandala and also here with the two of emotions the two of cups this is really about connectedness and oneness with one another with each other but there's also a connection here that's coming through and it's about seeing the colors of each other the aura the energy and the beauty of life and the beauty of what you see in someone else because really the beauty that you see in someone else is the beauty that you see within yourself. So this is really beautiful energy that's coming through the two of cups. Okay. What else do we need to know? All of a sudden just got really warm, really, really warm. Okay, I'm going to take the one that flipped out, or upright, sorry, and you have here the six of voices, being helped, look at this helping hand, there's also someone that reads palm, palmistry, or maybe you just got your palms read, or maybe your gift is reading palms, okay, because your ancestor here, I feel like you have an ancestor that is um, guiding you to read palm. Okay, that's for someone out there. Um, but what I'm getting here is that you're being helped through, you're being helped to cross, okay, a bridge, a bridge that you can't see, right? Because the whole message here is something that is not always apparent, something that doesn't always show up with our visible eyes but it's there when we enlighten ourselves when we become more aware so there is something that is not always apparent but there's an energy here that is helping you through something helping you through an obstacle building 
maybe an energetic bridge, building a bridge to help cross you over so that you can cross and transition safely to the other side. For connectedness, for motion, for the journey to resume, which is really interesting because I'm getting resume as if you thought that your journey may have stopped, but it is resuming. Yeah, this is interesting. Now we have the hermit. And again, we, we talked about this in the mandala about being still, about quieting the mind, about slowing down. The hermit is about reclusiveness, like being, being drawn within, going within, being enlightened, shining your light as within, so without, so that you can help guide others, so that you can become still, so that you can appreciate more of the beauty of the light that's around you and connect more to love to the one love, to yourself, to the beauty. And I said, some, you may have thought that something stopped or something was at a standstill. It was because so that you can enlighten yourself, so that you can appreciate more of what's there for you. And you're being helped during this transition. Now things are moving again. Okay, I, I feel like things stopped. Things became really slow. Things may have felt as if they were stagnant, but now I, I feel here with the six of swords, the six of voices, now you're being helped through so that you can resume. Sorry, I just touched my mic. You're resuming. You are resuming. Five of voices. Five of Swords energy. So with this Five of Voices, again, like look at this meditation. Okay, this is about being still and quieting the mind, right? So this is something that we said earlier. When we quiet the mind, when we are still, it feels as if we slow down time, we slow down ourselves, we slow down our breathing. We, it seems as if time just goes really, really slow, right? So when we do that, what we create for ourselves is more higher awareness, more enlightenment. Reducing the noise, reducing the mind, mental conflicts and thoughts, and really standing still in meditation and stillness, quiet. This energy feels really quiet. Like this is the energy that I felt as if I was going really slow because when you slow down, you appreciate more. So whatever is happening here, it's really slow so that you can appreciate more of yourself. Therefore, you can appreciate more of someone else. That's the message here. Slowing down to appreciate others, slowing down to appreciate you. You you are connected to someone here because of our two of cups. Okay, so there is a very strong connection here and the message is to slow down to appreciate the beauty, whether this message is heavily resonating to you with a, with a, a relationship that you are in, a connection that you feel strongly with someone, or maybe your friends and family, okay? Or just like everyday people, take it however it applies. It's a really beautiful message. And it brings forth this clarity. Look at all of the colors. The Ace of Voices, this is the Ace of Swords, this is that clarity. I can see clearly, I can see color, I can see, I can hear, I can smell, I can taste, I can, it's brand new, it's colorful, it's joyful, it's, look how radiant this energy is, just like the peacock, right? Just like the peacock, look at this, so beautiful, so beautiful, radiant radiant with color, 
even has some of, look at that, even has some of the peacock colors in this card. That's that clarity. That's that vivid imagination, that vivid color, that connection that you have with beauty, with the eternal. When we dwell on the miracle of color and pattern and the vision that allows us so to, per to perceive it so vividly, you're perceiving something so vividly now or someone is perceiving you vividly now. There's a perception that is clear. There's a perception that is vivid, that is filled with color, with clarity and with stillness. That is gorgeous. <laughs> That's beautiful. It's all about harmony. This is harmony too with the two of emotions, the two of cups. This is harmony. This is something harmon har harmonizing, excuse me. You're definitely harmonizing here with someone dancing. I see dancing. Coexisting. That's beautiful. So this is a message that I have. I don't want to add more to it. I don't want to misconstrue. I don't want to convolute the message. I feel like this is very clear and direct. So this was the message for the week ahead. I hope it resonated with you. I hope you enjoyed it. I am putting out your July reading. So be patient. It will come out within the next couple of days. Um, I believe I just posted Cancer and Capricorn, so I will be uploading um, and doing more readings today for the first half of July. So all signs will be uploaded before July 1st for your first half of July readings, okay? So thank you guys very much. I hope you have a beautiful day. It's Sunday. Enjoy this beautiful, wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys soon. God bless.